Okay, there, uh, discussion board. This will be my week seven video. Um, for this week, we are discussing uh, three images from the Times photo set that um, we thought personally were good uh, or efficient ways to get the story across through a photo. Um, my three choices were uh, photo number two out of the 62, uh, number 10, and number 18. And uh, I chose to s stick with just the Times photograph set. Uh, so for the one picture that I didn't like, um, it was image uh, 19 that uh, came off as a little graphic for me. Um, I think that's where I'm going to start, actually. Um, just, yeah, the one of the reasons that I didn't like the image, uh, I admit, though, that it is a well-taken image. Um, uh, everything lines up really nice, the colors are beautiful, um, everything. Uh, the one thing I didn't like about it though is the blood, obviously. Um, it's so excessive. Um, another thing that I really didn't like, I don't know if they got permission for this type of thing, but is when uh, news media shows people's faces that are dead and um, it's just, I don't know, it's just a little qualm that I have with it. Nothing. Uh, I don't know. From I, I just don't know why I don't like it. It came off as strange to me. The image, uh, it's just like a pool of blood. It's a ton of blood. Um, I just don't think, I just don't think that uh, news, news sources really need to show this much blood, this excessive amount of blood from this image. Um, yeah, but. Um, other than that, I can't really say much about the picture. Uh, it really does tell the story. Uh, it's, the picture is about gang violence, and, uh, I can just tell that, um, this is, like, a different type of area from America just by, like, the paneling and the soldiers, uh, the way they're dressed, their protocols with handling a body. I could just, the image does work for... Uh, what they were trying to do with it. I just, personally, the blood is what got me. All right, now moving on. Um, one of the first images that I thought really captured, um, I really sold the, like, the article it was about was image number two. Uh, so the article uh, was, was, or the caption stated that the article that the photo was with it was about um, refugees. Uh, trying to flee some area in Turkey, I think. Um, so, well, the the image depicts a man uh, who is seemingly being like held up, or well, no, who is being completely held up through, uh, through uh, from outside of window by the strength of people inside the window, um, and it looks crazy the way he looks like he's trying to like force himself in there. Um, it just really captured the desperation of what I assume being a displaced person is like. Um, now, image 10 was another one that I really thought sold the entire story. So image 10 is, uh, is a photo that went with a story about, um, ah, damn, what was it? Some sort of disaster, I think. But it was, um, it depicted a lot of mothers and children, all with like really sad, crying faces. And uh, from there, I could get like a lot of what like their culture was and like how they dressed and what their town would be like. All the people, uh, it really uh, brought me in with like the use of like children and, and women. Like uh, overall, those are like people not to be pitied, but like you feel sympathy for those people more than men for some reason. But um, that's beside the point. Uh, the image really sold because once I read the caption, it was obviously about a, like a woman who was grieving, and um, in the picture they're all crying, and everyone. I mean, I didn't know that the woman or that group was crying about um, the daughter that would just been pulled out of the rubble. But I could tell obviously there was a disaster by the debris, and I don't know. It's a good image. I really like this one. Uh, uh, they didn't go bloody like the last one did. And yeah, now really quick, just to wrap up with my five minutes ago. Uh, my last one was about some protests that happened in, 
you know what? I can't remember right off the top of my head, but it is about it's about um, some people protesting their government, and they're like all standing on the feet of a statue of justice and um, signs, and like it looks like a parade, but. Uh, I don't know, altogether it really sells revolution, and I think, if I remember right, that is what they're trying to start. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, overall, these three images impacted the most. They really sold what, they, what their stories were about. Some of the other images kind of were just um, not as powerful as these three. Uh, I, I can't really think of anything else to say, but uh, yeah, thank you.